Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create a PDF to Excel converter using BBA. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this PDF to Excel converter in Microsoft Excel using BBA. So here I have this setting sheet. In this sheet, I have PDF files folder path and here I have Excel files folder path. So this will be my input files and this will be the output files. This is the PDF files folder. Here I have few PDF file. I'll show you the PDF file also. So let me show you the test one file. Here I have some data. This is the employee performance related data here available in this PDF. If you will try to copy and paste this data directly on the Excel, then it will not be in correct format. So let me show you if I will select this copy and I'll go to the Excel and let's say on this C2, I will paste this data. Then this data will come in this format, which is not correct, right? Because it is coming in one column only. So how we can convert this data into Excel. All right, so let me close this. I have one more this form 16 sample here. This is the scanned image you can see. So friends, it will not convert this scanned image. If you will try to convert the scanned image, then it will simply paste that image on that Excel. So let me show you how it will work. And if I will show you the Excel files folder, so you can see there is no file is available. Now I'll go to the this. Now I will click on start conversion. So just click on start conversion. And now here you can see it will start converting the file. So first it has converted from 16, then test one, test two, and the other files also it is converting. Now if I will go to this Excel, then you can see the message has done. So all the PDF files have been converted into Excel. Now I'll show you the process, how it is converting. So this is the process of PDF to Excel conversion. Now, first of all, what this macro is doing, it is opening a PDF file as bird file. Then it is copying the word range, means all the data available on that word file. It is just simple copying that data. And now it is pasting that data on a new Excel file. Then in the fourth step, it is simply saving that file and closing that Excel file. And then it is opening the next PDF file. So this is the all four steps to convert PDF to Excel. Now I'll show you the BBA code also. So here I'll go to the developer tab and visual basic. And in this module one, I have this code, which is PDF to Excel. Now, first of all, I have taken a variable for the setting sheet. So setting underscore SH as worksheet. And I have assigned this setting underscore SS to this workbook dot seats and the setting sheet. I have taken two variables PDF path and Excel path as a string. And I have assigned the PDF path of the setting sheet range E11 and Excel path setting sheet range E12. Basically in this cell, I have put the PDF file folder path wherein my all the PDF files are available and the Excel files folder path also wherein I will save my all Excel file. All right. Now here I have used the file system objects. To use the file system object, you need to add a reference. I'll show you. So go to the tools reference. And here I have used Microsoft scripting runtime. So you need to add this reference. Just close this. Now here I have used dim FSO as new file system object, dim FO as folder and dim F as file. And I have set the FO on PDF path. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'll open each and every PDF file. So that is why I have used set FO, FSO dot get folder and then PDF path. So friends, here I have used few other variables, dim WA as object, WA I'm using for word application, then dim doc as object, dim WR as object for word range. And then here I'm using the create object method set wa equal to create object void dot application you can use the a simple method like dim wa as new word application this method also but in that case you need to add a reference for word application i'll show you that reference also you need to add this reference but friends i'm using excel 2013 so if you will use this application in excel 2010 then this reference will be different and it may give some error 
so that is the reason i have used this create object method however i have put this code here also and i just have comments this code you can enable this code and you can add the reference and you can delete this code from here all right then i'm simply using wa dot visible equal to true that means it will make the word application as visible here i have taken two variables dim and wb as workbook and dim nsh as worksheet because i will add a new excel workbook so i have taken this variable and this i will assign to worksheet the first worksheet of nwb all right then here i have used a loop this for each loop for each f f we have taken for files so for each f in fo the pdf file folder so for each file in pdf files folder it will check all the files available in pdf file folder and then here first of all what i have done i have set doc equal to wa word application dot documents dot open and then i have used f dot path f dot path will return the complete file name along with the extension then i have set the wr word range word range i have simply used doc dot paragraph one dot range and then i have used wr dot whole story nwb as new workbook so i have used workbooks dot add and nsh i have assigned to the first sheet then i'm simply copying wr dot copy it will copy the word range and it will paste that on nsh nsh dot paste and then for nwb the new workbook i'm just using save as nwb dot save as and here i'm using excel path because i will save this file in excel path folder then this slash and i will put the file name with extension keep the same file name but the only difference is the file extension is dot pdf we want to convert it in dot xlsx so i have used this replace formula here now i will close that document and i will close that excel file also right and then it will check the next file so once it will convert all the files then we will quit the word application also and in the last we will display this message so friends this is process to convert the pdf to excel all right friends i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular updates of my new videos thank you so much for watching